I have a hammock chair, but you don't. So don't try this at home. What if they do have a hammock chair? They shouldn't do it anyway. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Should This Be Consumed. I'm Robert Sharp, and I'm not looking forward to this episode. I'm Mark Bevins, and I don't like seafood. And this, this is Spit Bucket Light. It's got 50% less calories than the average Spit Bucket. Shouldn't it be 50% fewer calories? Yes, it should. But the Spit, spit Bucket, bucket! Is all... Curse you. One pound, 450 or grams of Spit Bucket. We're introducing the Spit Bucket this episode because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. I don't like oysters, but I picked them out... <laughs> So, I guess I'm eating them. I'm not looking forward to this at all. However, they should make me sexually arouse, if the tales about oysters are correct. But first, what's in them, Mark? <laughs> Smoked oysters, vegetable oil, salt. Wow. I'm not much in these. Oh yeah, these are smoked oysters in oil, by the way. That is That must be some kind of key fact. I'm not sure what to expect when I open this thing. I'm guessing it won't oysters, probably. look very good. Come on, open up. My body knows it doesn't want them. Ugh. That smells brutally <laughs> impressive. I think I'm going to need a spit bucket Ugh. right now, and I haven't even tried it. It's a shame you people at home cannot smell this. Actually, I'm, it's not. I'm gagging. Yeah, and i got to eat one of those. I can't I'm only that. eating one. That's all I'm doing. So, Rob, how does it feel? <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> and it falls apart. <laughs> don't, don't puke on me, Mark. It won't help any. You alright over there? No? <laughs> alright, that's it. Mark might have to leave the room for this episode. <laughs> Grab a spaghetti light here. Just in case. Bottoms up, I suppose. Are you sure the bottom should be up? <laughs> to be fair, it looks and smells worse than it is. It's kind of like a really bad muscle. And I like muscles. So, it's not that bad. The consistency, however, is horrendous. <laughs> it it kind of is the consistency disgusting. of dirt. <laughs> I mean, it's really dry, and it's just brittle. I thought it was supposed to be in oil. <laughs> oh, it's in oil. But there's something about an oyster that is just... It's still a virgin. Oh, it's brittle. So, I don't know. Scent scale? Horrendous. That That's like negative 20 on the scale of anything. They smell... That's worse than blue raspberry. They smell horrible. Okay. Do we have a new low for our scale? However... Smoked oysters in oil in that, a box? That was scent though. Taste scale? I'd eat a can of those before I'd eat a full package of that blue raspberry stuff. <laughs> I kid you not. If I had like something to plug my nose. <laughs> so, taste scale, I'd give it a 4. It's bad. It's really bad, but... It's eatable. Eatable. Edible would be the correct term, but it is eatable. <laughs> I like eatable. I'm gonna go with that. So, should it be consumed? I don't know. We'll see in a little bit if I get turned on. <laughs> and then we're totally gonna say it shouldn't be consumed because Rob turned on is a danger to everyone around. So, him. I'll I'll let you know in the comments in the little box down below here if that turned me on or not. I don't think it will because <laughs> I only ate know one. If it turned you on by <laughs> putting something in a box. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's all. Those are oysters. They stink. That's the TJ's thing. pointing it at my crotch. Good night, everyone. <laughs> roll, spit bucket, roll. Roll to freedom. <laughs>